Speaking of Golden Globe yes. winners, Tom Cruise. Ah. Let's take a look. I feel the need. The need for speed. You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Love that movie. Well, he's in a new uniform for his newest movie. It's called Valkyrie, all involving a plot by German officers to assassinate Adolf Hitler. Tom's going to be here to talk about that and a lot more Monday morning live in our studio. Check it out. Are you going to... A little bit later, uh, did your stars make the cut? Your favorite radio and TV, I should say movie and TV stars. Uh, the radio isn't in Golden Globe yet. We've got complete coverage of this morning's Golden Globe nominations. Go Slumdog Millionaire. Yo, I know it's one of your by the way. Good morning once again, everybody. In the news this morning, a $14 billion bailout for the auto industry now faces an uphill battle in the Senate. Last night, the House approved the bill, which makes uh, General Motors, Chrysler, and Ford eligible for loans and creates a car czar. But there is strong opposition to the plan from both sides of the aisle in the Senate. CBC's Trish Regan is at the New York Stock Exchange for us this morning. Trish, if the Senate goes along with this auto bailout, how much will it really help? Well, you know, it could help, and in the near term, the concern is is that GM and Chrysler are very close to bankruptcy. And if they were to file for bankruptcy, that would simply compound the overall problem in the economy right now. The thinking is, is that who would want to buy a car from a bankrupt company because you couldn't be really secure in the warranty? So they figured that would really hurt car sales. The companies would have a tough time trying to restructure while they were in bankruptcy protection. The other issue, of course, is what would this do to the already rising unemployment rate? You would have thousands and thousands thousands of more people out of work, not just at the car companies themselves, and but at all the auto supplier part companies. So it has a very big ripple effect. That said, a lot of critics are saying this plan is not going far enough to really fix the main issues, the big issues at these companies, which include making cars that are competitive. So we'll see what happens. All right, Trish Regan this morning. Trish, thanks. Today on this program, Illinois Lieutenant Governor Pat Quinn repeated his call for Governor Brod Blagojevich to step down and said he believes, quote, that will happen. State lawmakers are considering a special election to fill Barack Obama's vacant Senate seat and are preparing to discuss possible impeachment proceedings against Blagojevich, who is accused of trying to sell the seat. Defense Secretary Robert Gates said this morning the Pentagon hopes to move thousands more troops into Afghanistan by next summer. Right now, there are about 31,000 U.S. troops there. President Bush says he is frustrated with the U.N.'s efforts to end the violence in Darfur and promised the U.S. would continue providing aid to the region. At the White House on Wednesday, the president met with a human rights activist who was tortured and gang raped in the ethnic cleansing in Darfur. Dr. Halima Bashir chose to be covered head to toe for her own safety. Now here's Brian Williams.